Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 18th of 2022. Well, it is titled three clusters in Puppis. So what do we see here? Well, in the constellation of Puppis, the poop deck down in the southern hemisphere, we see three open clusters of stars. Now, open clusters are relatively young clusters of stars, and there are three grouped here. Down to the left, we see M46, that is about 5,500 light years away. To the right, we see M47, which is 1600 light years away. And at the top, we see NGC 2423, which is 2500 light years away. Now, if we think about that, we see that while we see them all together in the sky, they are actually at widely varying distances. And if you were to travel out thousands of light years in this direction, you would get to a point where you had passed a star cluster and other ones were still off in the distance. So these three are not actually associated with each other in any way. They just happen to be in the same general direction on the sky. Now open clusters are relatively young clusters of stars and some of these are uh, on the order of 80 uh, million years to about 750 million years old, which is relatively young speaking of stars, a star like our sun will live for 10 billion years and is about 5 billion years through its life. So these clusters are only a tiny fraction of the age of our sun. Now, if you look closely uh, towards M46 down to the left, you can actually see within it a planetary nebula. And that's up to the upper left side. You can see sort of a little disk there, bigger star than normal. And that is a planetary nebula. And that is what is left over after the life of a star, much like our own sun. The core contracts is con tracks down to a white dwarf and the material left behind becomes become pushed out then becomes the planetary nebula that we see now because of the age of the planetary nebula we know that again this is also just a chance superposition that planetary nebula is not associated with this star cluster because of its age, it is a much older. Uh, this is a much older object, probably a billion years old, and it is just happens to be in the same direction of the sky as M46, that star cluster. So we do see that quite often when we look out at the sky like this, we sometimes tend to think of it as things are really associated with each other and are close together in the sky. But in many cases like these, you can have the clusters can actually be thousands of light years away from each other and off in the distance behind or in front of the other clusters. So that was our picture of the day for February 18th of 2022. It was titled three clusters in Puppis. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be mammals in space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.